So I want to talk about food and whiskey pairing, um, <laughs> which is uh, a pet peeve of mine. <clears throat> so take this as my opinion, but it's an opinion I don't see that much, so I feel like I, I should share it. Um, I think in general, whiskey doesn't pair with food. Um, it's not wine, <laughs> it's not beer. I think you can have situations with pairings where with a wine, the wine tastes better and the food tastes better. Like it actually enhances both of them. Um, with beer, you can actually find the same thing as well. So, so wine pairings, beer pairings with food, really great. Whiskey's challenging. Uh, it's, you know, high in alcohol, which just makes it, it hard. It, it cuts through food in ways that I find often doesn't do food service, good service. And the food as well just gets in the way. <laughs> I find so much of whiskey, um, you know, you really have to be on your game in terms of how sensitive, you know, your palate is to everything that's going on. And, you know, if you have food coating your tongue, um, whiskey just tastes like a lot of high alcohol that might be a bit sweet, <laughs> at least to me. So that being said, my experience, I've done a lot of food and whiskey tastings. Um, <clears throat> I've been a part of them. Um, I find in general, they don't work very well. And in general, you should just, you know, <laughs> find a wine pairing or a beer pairing. Um, I know in some places they'll water down the whiskey to pair with it, and I think that's to deal with the alcohol. Um, eh, it's okay, but uh, it's still not, not worth the effort, especially with the price of whiskey, in my opinion. And I will say as well, like I've worked as a journalist and, and written for, for various... Um, uh, I guess media <laughs> outlets and you know magazines and all that and through that I've talked with a lot of spirits journalists and a lot of them write about food and whiskey pairings but don't believe it <laughs> so just so you know uh, it's not just me out there uh, people are really interested in this so a lot gets written about it but um, even those who write about it aren't always sold so I know it's not just my opinion but um, a few things to consider though um, one, like, clearly people want to hear about this, so maybe it's something I just don't get. And if it's, you know, if you found food and whiskey pairings, you know, <laughs> talk about them in the comments. Feel free to contradict me. Um, I, I just haven't found stuff that's worked for me. But, you know, there's some people who really like them. So, you know, maybe it's an opinion thing. Uh, a few things that have been interesting. Uh, whiskey and chocolate is an interesting pairing. Um, and... I don't know if I'd say it's great because I, I, I found that you can have chocolate and whiskey together um, as part of a tasting that doesn't make the chocolate worse and doesn't make the whiskey worse. I don't think it makes either of them better, but it keeps things equal. And that's saying something because I find most whiskey pairings, you know, both of them make worse or if, you know, maybe the food isn't worse, but the whiskey's worse. So you, you're not maximizing both. Uh, with whiskey and chocolate, you can get something that's even, and it, it's something very interesting. So that's worth trying. Um, the one that I like <laughs> is actually whiskey and beer. Um, that's the only pairing with whiskey that I've found that um, really enhances both the whiskey and the beer. Now, it's alcohol and alcohol, so it's a little, um, yeah. <laughs> you, it adds up fast, but um, but that's a pairing. That's really the only one that that I I find um, worth some of my really good whiskey um, and worth my time. I guess I think about it. Whiskey and cigars can be quite nice as well. So that's another pairing. That's a whole another world. Um, I find Canadian whiskey actually works. Um, really well with cigars, better than most whiskey categories, if not all whiskey categories. And even some of the, um, yeah, so anyway, that's that. It's, it's, if, you, if you're into cigars, try them with Canadian whiskey. Canadian whiskey, there's so much complexity with it and it comes in a, such a range of, of kind of body and profile and the mixed grain character of, of blended Canadian whiskey. Um, or the really sharp, spicy character, or fruity character of, of kind of the rise. Um, works really, really well with cigars. So I guess cigars is another one. Um, I find it makes the cigar better. I'm not sure it makes the whiskey better. Um, 
but again it's one of those things that it's not making them worse so that's good but whiskey and beer so on that note um, there's a few things that I, I think work and working a bit with some of the flavor profiles that I've talked about I'm gonna consult my notes so don't forget something with beer I find beers that aren't as hoppy work better so one pairing that's that's quite nice is stouts with um, uh, whiskeys that are kind of in the oakier more corn focused style so for instance stouts and bourbons I think work really well together um, but you can find those those whiskeys in Canada too so like the north of seven whiskeys it's a small distillery um, granted but but some of those ones work really well with stouts single malts also work quite nice with stouts so if you have a single malt from a you know a distillery that you like try it with a stout um, pretty interesting pairing um, Another one that works well um, is with big rye whiskey, so kind of your flavoring rye. Um, porters work quite nicely. So porters just have a really nice grainy character that just really, I find, complements some of the, the big spicy rye characters that cut right through. Um, another one, it's probably my favorite. Um, <laughs> it's a bit intense, but Imperial Porters and Old Canadian Corn Whiskies. It's kind of, you know, this massive, strong beer style. And then you have this light, ethereal, you know, um, Canadian corn whiskey. But the sweetness and the brightness of those whiskeys just cuts right through the thickness of the Imperial Stout. So that's another one that I, um, that I really enjoy. Um, there's a few other pairings that are okay. They're not, they're not as good as the ones that I mentioned. But um, Pilsners and sort of... The modern contemporary Canadian blends work pretty well. Uh, ambers and the modern um, so contemporary Canadian blends also work well. Um, Saison beers and rye can work quite nicely together. So just some of the fruitiness in the Saison matches quite nice with the intensity, spiciness, fruitiness of, of the, the flavoring rye. Um, and then um, Kolsch, so on the lighter sort of German beer side. They work okay with single malts and they work okay with, with sort of the big flavoring rise as well. Um, one Canadian whiskey style that's hard to pair with beer is sort of your classic blended Canadian whiskey. Um, I just find it's, it's sweet. It often just becomes too sweet and the pairing doesn't work. Um, so, um, so that's a bit on, be on, f on food and whiskey. Um, I'll 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 do uh, I'll do a bit of, of actual tasting side by side to demonstrate. But um, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to those next. Thanks for tuning in.